What is going on guys? Thanks for joining my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the reason why I switched from Robinhood to M1. The reasoning will probably surprise you. It's a little different than others. So let's get started. If you have been following my channel, um, I have been pretty successful with Robinhood. I actually took out my profits and put it into M1 Finance and all the money that I invested of my own money, I took that out. Um, if you look here, I did do a chart just showing you the benefits of each broker. So if you look at it on paper, it seems like Robinhood overall is better just about on every category. So I'll go over it with you and I'll kind of give you both sides to it though. So with Robinhood, you can do unlimited trading. Um, I had over $25,000 in my accounts. So I could buy a sell um, at will um, as many times as I really wanted to, any stock, um, anything that I really wanted to do. With uh, M1 Finance, there's just two trade windows. So you can do one trade in the morning and you can do one trade um, before market closes. Uh, borrowing margins, I also did this with Robinhood. Um, you can borrow up to 100%. So if you have $25,000, you can borrow up to $25,000 to invest. And with um, M1, it's 35% borrowing margin. With uh, the margin fee, it's 2.5% with Robinhood. It used to be 5%. They dropped it in half, uh, which was pretty amazing at 2.5%. Even at 5% was still a pretty good deal because they only charge you $5 a month. With M1, I do have like the gold membership, which I pay, I think, about $125 a year, which gives you a 2% margin fee, which is also pretty good for that you know, smallish amount of money. Uh, that you have to do annually because you do get other benefits with it. Um, trading hours is the main thing. Uh, so trading hours with Robinhood, if you're gold, it's 9 to 6. And even if you're gold, trading hours is 9.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. with M1. Uh, Robinhood obviously does crypto. It's 24-7. And they also allow you to do option trade spreads. You know, you can buy, you can call. Whatever type of option trades you want to do, they'll allow you to do it. Uh, with M1, there's no crypto and no option trades. So let me go through each line and kind of break it down for you. So reason why, even though I have actually been very successful with Robinhood, and I'm grateful for the amount of money that I did make um, with Robinhood, I felt like I was getting a little too carried away with buying and selling option trades even with crypto using so much margins even though i was successful um you know i did lose you know twenty thirty thousand dollars at one point um at trading so in using margins you know that that just amplifies it so if you go to unlimited trade tr unlimited trading um it's a good and bad thing so Limited trading if you are doing day trades or if you see any type of stocks you want to buy at that moment and then sell it if it gets, you know, even a day or two. And if it gets to a certain point, you can sell it immediately. You don't have to wait for the trade window. The reason why I like M1 with the trade, two trades per day, um, is that it's kind of a hands off approach. You can make your decisions um, strategically and it's done at a certain time of the day and you don't have to worry about trying to get in or get out. Next thing is the margins. Even though 100% borrowing margin seems to be a good ideal, just imagine if you borrowed $10,000 and you had $10,000 and you put $20,000 into one stock and it automatically dropped 50%, you would basically be at zero dollars. You would have lost all of your money borrowing that type of money here. And with Robinhood, they actually, any money you gain, it'll automatically go into your buying power. Um, you can limit that, uh, but I will tell you this, most people don't. So if you gain $1,000, uh, Robinhood will give you an extra $1,000 to spend automatically if you don't have it set. With M1, even if you gain $10,000, you have to physically ask to borrow a specific amount of money with it and they only allow you to do 35 percent so 35 percent in my eyes is enough money to borrow uh, from the brokerage 
and to do whatever trades that you want to do. 100% is obviously very high. With the margin fees, depending on how much your portfolio is, a half percent and the amount of money you pay of the difference isn't really too much of a difference to me. So overall, both of these are pretty much equal in my eyes. Uh, trading hours from nine to six, even though this is good to have, especially if the stocks move after market or pre-market, um, you can do trades, but you're also worrying about it, keeping an eye on it, and then you know buying and selling at a certain amount that you may not want to do. Even though I wish the window was a little bit better with M1, I don't mind it because the new strategy I'm doing is more long term. Uh, so I don't mind it too much. Most of the stocks I do plan on holding uh, for the most part. The 24-7 crypto and option trades. With crypto now, you can go to any type of brokerage. You can go to anything to get crypto if you wanted to just get crypto trading. So that's not a huge deal. I do have about $4,000 in uh, crypto. So, but with a different brokerage, it's actually with Weeble. But that is no big deal to me as well. It would be convenient, but that would put you in a situation where you're trying to buy and sell for the most part. And option trades, to be honest with you, if you're not skilled at this, you can lose so much money with option trades, especially with the stocks now. It's very uncertain. Stocks are never guaranteed. Even though it's called investing, it's really just gambling. You're gambling your money away to hope for a higher uh, profit, you know. But nobody knows what the market is going to do. So even though you're investing, which sounds better than gambling, it is gambling. So in my eyes, Robinhood, if you do with Robinhood, it's more, I would say, for someone who would like to day trade, take more risks, and maybe not as much long term. So I felt in my eyes, if I stayed with Robinhood, I would be too inclined to buy and sell. Um, when I got my statement from Robinhood last year, I think I had over 25 or even 3,000 trades in that year, which really surprised me. So with this here, you only have two trades per day, so you're really limited here. So I would say if you're going with Robinhood um, and you're a little more risky and do day trades, but I would say even though Robinhood um, is not the oldest brokerage out there, this I would say is more for experienced traders for short-term trading or day trading, even though you can do long-term and dividend, but most you can do that with any brokerage if you want to do that. But with Robinhood, if you look here, it just seems a little more risky in my eyes. With M1, it's a safer play, and since I'm just using profits and I plan on holding longer term, I'm not too worried about any of this other stuff over here. So that's the main reason why I switched over. I'm very grateful with Robinhood on how much money I made with them, um, but for the most part, the money that you make, you always can lose it that much faster, especially with borrowing margins and especially with crypto, day trading, unlimited trading. And I believe with Robinhood, it shoots so much information at you and so many new stocks that are moving so fast uh, with the you know list that shows you the big movers. So it kind of gets you to want to buy and sell more than with M1. They're kind of just saying, hey, do whichever you need to do. If you need to do some research, you can do some research. And with the pies, it's kind of set up in a safer way that you actually can see specifically on what you're gaining and losing on and uh, you can kind of have a little bit more control with it. So this isn't for everybody, guys. I like Robinhood. I like M1. I'm newer with the M1. But for the most part in my trading in the future, at least now, M1 right now is more in my favor than Robinhood. If I ever go back to Robinhood, it's definitely a possibility. But for the most part, I think that I'm taking my winnings with gambling, investing, and uh, just using it with M1. And then I'm happy with the slower return. But it's also less of a chance for me to lose a so much of amount. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.